Hey guys, Mitch here from Cinema Suite, and this is 5 Fun Facts About Star Fox. Star Fox for the Super Nintendo was a graphical breakthrough for its time. No gamer could ever forget its cutting-edge 3D graphics made possible by a specialized coprocessor found within the cartridge. It blew away what we thought the Super Nintendo could do at the time. And it combined this cool technology with the awesome characterization Nintendo is known for. Here are 5 fun facts you may not know about Star Fox. Number 1. Miyamoto created and photographed the puppets used as cover artwork for Star Fox. Miyamoto was a fan of English puppet drama such as Thunderbirds, so he wanted the game cover to feature puppets. Number 2. The game is actually a collaboration between Nintendo and a smaller company called Argonaut. Argonaut is the company behind the Super FX chip which enabled advanced effects in many Super Nintendo games including Star Fox and Yoshi's Island. The way the two companies met is actually pretty interesting. Argonaut was developing an unofficial title for the Nintendo Game Boy, and in doing so, found a way around Nintendo's copyright protection system. They went to Nintendo's booth at CES that year and showed them, and Nintendo was wowed by their methods of defeating their copyright system as well as the actual demo itself. The game that demo turned into was released as a 1992 Japan-only title for the Game Boy, titled X. It was the first 3D game released for a portable system. Number 3. There exists a sequel called Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo that was fully produced and ready to be released, but they decided not to use it because it was getting too close to the end of the Super Nintendo's life cycle. There's actually an almost completed leaked ROM out there that's even been translated into English, so you can easily go and play it. A lot of the new technology that Argonaut developed for Star Fox 2 was used in Star Fox 64 without paying Argonaut any royalties. Fact number 4. Argonaut and Nintendo's relationship came to an end when Argonaut pitched the idea for a 3D platformer, much like Super Mario 64 to Nintendo. Nintendo wasn't comfortable with Argonaut developing a game with their intellectual property, so Nintendo declined. Argonaut went on to make that game into Croc Legend of Gobos for the PS1, Sega Saturn, and the PC, not the Nintendo. Fact number 5. The game is about General Pepper's army of dogs fighting an army of Andross's monkeys. Well, this is based off a Japanese saying that goes something like, fighting like dogs and monkeys. That's it for this week. Be sure to check out our other 5 fun facts videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching.